Hello everyone, welcome to MindBrain Talks, the place where you find diverse and scientifically accurate information regarding psychology, neuropsychology, neurosciences and research methods every single week. My name is Bruno Faustino, I am a licensed clinical psychologist and neuropsychologist who has been working as a therapist, researcher and educator for the past few years. Here in MindBrain Talks, I discuss and describe different topics from psychology to neurosciences and I try to explain them the best as I can for you to understand a little bit more about it. All contents here are just for educational purposes and it's not intended to diagnose any psychiatric condition or neurological disorder. So, without further delay, let's jump for today's content. So, today's video is the last one regarding to the introduction of neuropsychological syndromes. Today, I will describe to you the last set of neuropsychological syndromes that were not described in the previous video. So, stay tuned! But first, let's take a look on the manuals that I recommend to you. The first is the principles of neuropsychology. The second is the fundamentals of human neuropsychology. The third is the neuropsychology handbook. The fourth is the Handbook of Clinical Neuropsychology, the second edition. The fifth is the Neuropsychological Assessment. And the sixth is the Clinical Neuropsychology. So, now let's take a brief look on the, the Executive Syndrome, which is one neuropsychological syndrome that is extremely important in neuropsychology. So first, let's look to the main definition of neuropsychological syndromes. Neuropsychological syndromes are all the neurocognitive impairments that result from brain dysfunction, congenital or acquired, with profound impact in mental health and daily life. Typically, these syndromes have severe impacts on memory, language, attention and other cognitive processes such as executive functions or even visual motor skills. So, the executive syndrome or executive dysfunction concerns a set of symptoms typically resulting from brain injury, covering the domain of cognition, emotion and behavior. This syndrome typically results in difficulties in cognitive flexibility, planning, abstract reasoning, impulse inhibition, motivation, decision making and emotion regulation. Executive dysfunction may be present in several psychopathologies, such as attention deficit hyperactivity, conduct disorder, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, schizophrenia, or even in physical health and in quality of life. As you can see here, there are several life domains that executive functions are extremely important to maintain a good psychological and good neuropsychological functioning. So, the aspect, so the executive functions are the main neurocognitive functions that are extremely important to maintain a good mental health and adequate adaptation of daily life functioning. As you can see here, executive functions are extremely important in physical health, in the quality of life, in school readiness and school success, job success, marital harmony and public safety. So, as we saw earlier, executive functions are a set of functions that coordinate the other neurocognitive processes, okay? So, that's why that the executive dysfunction is a extremely severe syndrome that impairs cognitive flexibility, planning and emotion regulation with severe impacts in psychological health and daily life functioning. So, now let's see the summary and the key points. So, executive dysfunction, it's a broad syndrome that typically is associated with executive functions. As we saw also, uh, executive functions are associated with the frontal lobe functioning. So, that's why that when we think about executive dysfunction, we think about that there is some impairments in the frontal lobe. And as we saw, the executive dysfunction shows some psychopathology which is present in other psychopathological conditions, okay? So, this is just an introductory video about the executive dysfunction, but in the future I will show to you more about this, okay? So, stay tuned! Well, it's all for today. Don't forget to see the video description regarding today's theme if you want to see the manuals and the books that I recommend to you. 
Also, if you like what I'm doing, like, share and subscribe this video. Also, you can use the comment section below to express your mind and to express your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all of this. Welcome to Mind Brain Talks and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!